Hey everybody, this is Professor Henry with the English department at Fresno State and I'm here today to help you with making sure that your Zoom client is authenticated to Fresno State's Zoom domain. Right? This will help you get around this problem or issue with seeing a message like this when you try to join one of your Zoom classes. That this meeting is for authorized attendees only, and then that leaves you stuck and unable to join your classroom. And that's no fun for anybody. But I tell you what, before I go through the specific steps, um, I want to encourage you that if you need some more help on the technology side of things, to please don't depend on me to be your tech support. Go to the student help desk, okay? That is your first line of help when it comes to working with the technology. So you can give them a call at 559-278-5000. Now my motivation for doing this video is um, so that I can uh, share how this works with my students right away to maybe save them from having to make that call. Um, and maybe lighten the burden or lighten the load on the student help desk too. So okay, with all of that being said, um, I also want to clarify that this video makes a couple of assumptions. Um, one, it assumes that you have already downloaded and installed the Zoom client. If you need help with that, guess what? Call the help desk. It also assumes that you are working with a desktop or a laptop computer. Although it's it's a the idea and the concept is the same with a smartphone or a tablet. Um, the look and the feel is a little bit different. Um, and again, if you need help, call the help desk. They'll help you get squared away with your mobile device. And also, the video makes the assumption that you have already set up your two-factor authentication so that your account and credentials to log into Fresno State are nice, safe, and secure. All right, so step one, you're going to open up your Zoom client and it's going to ask you if you want to join a meeting or if you want to sign in and you want to sign in. Okay, this is the part of the path that a lot of people get tripped up on. So this is like probably the biggest takeaway for the whole video here. Don't put in your email or your username and your password at the top of the form. Right. You want to choose the SSO option, right? That stands for single sign on. Okay. Once you choose that option, it, uh, Zoom is going to ask you, well, what is the, the company domain to use for the single sign on? In that box, you need to type in Fresno State. No capital letters, no spaces, Fresno State. That, that should then open your web browser and point you to Fresno State's campus uh, login services form. Okay, at this point, you should be prompted to um, authenticate with your two-factor authentication. So you want to open up the Duo app on your mobile device, or maybe you have it set up so that this login request is going to push a request. To your mobile device and you can uh, tap OK or accept. Okay, however you have it set up, you just want to get through your two-factor authentication. Okay, back over to the web browser. Now that you've authenticated, you need to probably um, tell your web browser that it is OK to um, kind of forward that information back over to your Zoom client application. So tap on the open link button there. This might not come up for you, and if it doesn't, don't worry. But if it does, it's to be expected, and it's perfectly okay to tap the open link button there. All right, and then that should get you in. Um, you can confirm that everything worked by clicking on um, perhaps your profile picture if you've already um, you know, uh, uh, set up your Zoom account that way. Um, or it might just be the little like generic silhouette on the upper right hand corner. But if you tap on that, then um, the context uh, menu should say your name, your email address, and it should also say licensed. If you see those things, you're all set. 
good to go, you should then be able to join any of your Fresno State Zoom classes. Okay, beyond any of that, if you need some extra help, again, contact the student help desk at 559-278-5000. They'll be happy to help you out. That's it for this video. This is Professor Henry wishing you good luck.